Welcome back to Current80s.org. Today we're going to be continuing with our series, Six Months of Set Theory and Higher Order Logic, looking at Month 2 on Operations and Relations. In this video, we're taking a look at what is the union of two sets. Now, a union is an operator in set theory. In this video, we are covering a relative union, which is an operator between two sets or classes that looks like this, A, U, B. These are not to be confused with absolute unions, an operation on a single set or class that might look like this, U, C, which we will cover in a future video. So if you're looking for that, check out that future video. If you're looking for unions between two sets, you're in the right place. Now, the union of two classes is the class that includes all the members of either class. It's pretty simple. We represent a union in set theory with this kind of stylized U. To find the union of two sets, we simply concatenate the lists of the elements of each set. If an element is in either set, it's in the union of those sets. So if our first set A is has members B, C, and D, and E has members B, F, and A, then the union of A and E is A, B, C, D, and F. Note that, as we proved at the end of the last month, repeat members of a set can be collapsed into one. In other words, A, B, C, D, F is the same as A, B, B, C, D, F. One way to think of a union is that it is a Venn diagram that includes the area of both the circles as well as their overlap. Basically, anything that is in either class is included in the union of those two classes. Here are some more examples to clarify, where none of these different letters are equal to each other or the null set. So the union of the set of A and the set of B is just the set of A and B. The union of the set of A and B and the set of B and C is just A, B, C. The union of the set of the null set and the set of D is the set of the null set and D. But the union of the null set and E and the set of E is just the set of E because there are no members of the null set for us to take out. And the union of the set of the null set and the set of the null set and the set of the null set and F is the set of the null set, the set of the null set, and F. Hopefully that's clear with those examples. Now, the formal definition of a union that we're going to use is for all A and all B and all C, A union B is equal to C means by definition for all sets X, X is a member of C is materially equivalent to X is a member of A or X is a member of B. So for all classes A, B, and C, the statement that the union of A and B is C is defined as for all sets X, X is a member of C, if and only if X is a member of A or X is a member of B. We're going to call this relative union definition in proofs. Up next, we're going to be looking at what is the intersection of two sets. But first, if you want to practice, try these and we'll have the answers at the end of the next video. So make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss the answers in the next video. So first off, we've got some class definitions. We're going to call this A being the set of B, C, and D, B being the set of A and E, C being the set of C and D, and D being the set of E and F. Assuming that all of these are different from each other and none of them equal the null set, then what is the union of A and B, the union of A and C, the union of B and D, and the union of C and itself? Give those a try and stay tuned in the end of the next video for answers. Watch this video and more here at Carnadies.org and stay skeptical, everybody.